In my last video, we went over to David Steele's place and checked out his amazing car collection. But in this video, we're gonna film his 1971 Chevelle. So let's get to it. So this is your first car and you got it in high school, right? Yeah, I bought it in high school. I was a senior, I was 17, and it was a local car in this little town we lived in in Southern Indiana. And uh, bought it from the original owner, a guy named Steve Pinnock, who was missing an eye. He had like an eye patch and he was kind of an interesting, eccentric guy. And I remember he loved that I was 17 and I was buying his car as my first car. It was his first car that he bought when he was 17 and his mother co-signed for it. Wow. But yeah, drove it to high school, drove it to senior prom, and you know, took it on gigs, and it drove me everywhere I've ever been in my life. Since you got it, have you done anything, or have you kept it like, this is how exactly it was in high school? No, and in fact, my late father used to say when he would see me working on it, you're spending a fortune to ruin a perfectly good car. I got into street racing in the 90s. It's a true SS, but it just had a 350 and an automatic and 273 gears, and so I started building engines. And by the eighth engine, which is in it now, it's a 406 small block. It makes 531 horsepower at 5,900. And it's nicely in the 12s, just on bias ply tires. So it's as fast as I kind of ever wanted it to be. The car was gold with a black top originally, black vinyl top. So it had a very sedate look to it when it, when it was original. But the matte black thing seemed to kind of go with the exhaust note of the 406. <laughs> I love how it looks because, you know, you got the old school tires on it and you just don't really see that often and I really appreciate it. I like it that you said that because what I was kind of going for was trailer park muscle car circa 1975. That's what I was going for. <laughs> so I don't know if I've achieved it. Eh, you're doing pretty well. How much trouble have you got in this car? Years ago, I would just get pulled over all the time because it was a small town and the cops knew the car and they knew that I was always out every night looking for somebody to race. Even though I wasn't like John Milner or something, I probably lost more than I won. But funny enough, when I moved here, I was living in the house first or second week I was here I came into the neighborhood and a cop followed me right into the driveway and asked me if this thing had ever been smogged and I said well it's exempt these two cops and they were livid they said there's no way this car's legal it's way too loud and it smells terrible and I thought wow I never thought I'd get pulled over for that <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I need a ride in this thing <laughs> if you want to smell like exhaust fumes I, I, I can hook you up yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna quickly interrupt this video and let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Gentle Bands, which is a company that's redefining handcrafted bands for everyone. Gentle Bands is all about creating rings that express your personality. They've been using unconventional materials since 2017 to create one-of-a-kind pieces. From ancient meteorites to Hawaiian koa wood, their selection offers something special for everyone. What also sets Gentle Bands apart are their core values. They proudly craft their rings in the USA using sustainably crafted materials and use family-owned workshops to ensure every piece is crafted with the utmost care and attention to detail. So I chose their silver lining ring, which is this one. It's made out of tungsten. It's super simple. Additionally, they even offer a free engraving service to add that personal touch. With each order, you'll receive a certificate of authenticity, a ring case, and a cleaning kit to keep your ring looking its best. As a special offer to you guys, Gentle Bands is providing an exclusive 25% off discount with the code FORSPEED. So if you're looking for a ring that reflects your personality or want to give a unique gift, I encourage you to check out Gentle Bands. So with that being said, I'll link everything down below, but let's get back to the video. The Chevelle and the first thing I noticed is that it's really comfortable these seats. This is a big old you know touring car of its day you know. I was honestly surprised it feels really nice. Oh yeah drive these things every day all day long.
So your little son likes this car a lot, or? He loves it. Yeah, black car. Black car, loud car. <laughs> the best type of car. Yeah. <laughs> polluting the air, man. Just being a goofball. I guess the throttle's sticking a little bit, but he's fixing it. get him good but then all that smoke and then it, he completely disappeared <laughs> I didn't get on film, but one person got mad and I think it was too big of a smoke show for him, right? <laughs> he did not like it. He did not like hot rodding. <laughs>